Selecting an enterprise software solution is a complex, time-consuming, and often expensive process. Technology Evaluation Centers is dedicated to making it easier. Over the years, TEC has helped hundreds of private and public sector organizations choose best-fit software solutions. By combining extensive research with industry-leading decision support technology, a best practice selection methodology, and industry expertise, TEC can help reduce the time and cost of the enterprise software selection process and mitigate the risk of choosing the wrong software. Well-defined requirements are the foundation of any successful software selection project. TEC's Business Process Modeling, or BPM Express process, is designed to help you develop a highly detailed picture of your software requirements in a way that makes it easy to find the vendors that best meet those requirements. We work with you to identify and document your high-level business processes, sub-processes, and associated activities in your own words. Then, after reviewing your existing documentation and interviewing key designates and subject matter experts, we map those processes to industry standard features and function. The result is a comprehensive functional and technical requirement set that vendors can understand and respond to accurately. You'll send this requirement set to all of the vendors on your long list as part of a Request for Information, or RFI. Once the vendors on your long list have submitted their RFI responses, you can use TEC's Online Evaluation Center to create a shortlist for in-depth evaluation. The first step is to add the vendors on your long list to the project. For more information about any vendor, simply click the vendor name to display a description here in the right-hand pane. If you'd like to include a vendor that doesn't appear on the list, TEC can have that vendor respond to an RFI and upload the results to the Evaluation Center. The next step is to prioritize your requirements. Start by using the Knowledge Tree to drill down to the individual criteria and identify your critical requirements, those that a vendor must absolutely meet to be included in the decision. For each critical requirement, you'll also need to identify a minimum level of support. After identifying your critical requirements, you can return to a higher level in the Knowledge Tree and set priorities for the remaining features and functions. With your priorities set, you can go to the Compare Results screen to see which vendors best meet your requirements. Using the Knowledge Tree, you can see how the vendors performed at any level of detail from general functional areas right down to specific features. You'll also see which vendors were disqualified because they failed to meet your critical requirements. Using these results, you can identify your shortlist of the three or so top performing vendors to evaluate in depth. Your in-depth evaluation begins by issuing a formal request for proposal, or RFP. TEC can help you develop a comprehensive RFP document that includes the structure and required inputs for a detailed statement of work, including references and demonstration scripts, a complete list of your requirements to be revalidated by the vendors, a list of deliverables the vendor must provide, a list of deliverables you must provide to support the project, a contract format, legal terms and conditions, and relevant procurement information, the structure and required inputs for a full project and implementation schedule, submission guidelines for the RFP, and a description of the criteria you'll use to evaluate the vendors. After the RFP stage, you'll return to the Evaluation Center for an in-depth look at the shortlisted vendors. The first thing you'll notice is that now, only the shortlisted vendors are listed. Over the course of the RFP stage, you'll have rated the vendors on a number of new criteria, including the references, market data, 
and their performance in scripted demonstration sessions. These are the so-called soft factors. Here on the rating screen, you can double-check these ratings before proceeding. On the Prioritize Needs screen, you'll notice that all of these soft factors have been added to the decision tree. You'll need to set priorities for them the same way you did for the features and functions earlier on. Here on the Compare Results screen, you can see whether the new criteria have changed the vendor's rankings. Now that you have the full story, notice how this time, Product Def is the top-ranked product instead of Product B. You can also use TEC's What If Analysis tools to find out how the product ratings might change if you change your priorities. Notice that here, a basic gap analysis shows Product Def underperforming in the area of personalization management. That doesn't affect its ratings too much because you've indicated that personalization management is not important. But if it becomes important in the future, things change. In fact, when you make personalization management a must-have feature, product def's ratings go down. Not a lot, but enough to actually lower its ranking in this case. This kind of analysis can help you incorporate future plans into your decision. You can perform further graphical analysis here on the graph screen. At any level of the knowledge tree, you can easily see each vendor's overall performance, how any one vendor compares to the other shortlisted vendors, and how each vendor's performance changes as any one criterion becomes more or less important. Now that you know how each product performs, the last step is to factor cost into the equation using TEC's value analysis. Based on the RFPs you received, you can enter an itemized list of costs for each product. When you display the value equivalency, you'll notice that the rankings change again. Now the top ranked product is product B again. It's not the best fit for all of your criteria, but it offers the best fit for the price. In the value equivalency column, you can see exactly how the other vendors would need to adjust their prices to offer the same value as product B. That's information you can use to negotiate a better price. With this information at your fingertips, you can now choose the winning solution, finalize negotiations with the winning vendor, and begin a successful implementation. We hope that you now have a good understanding of how TEC can help you clearly define your organizational needs, carefully analyze the available solutions, and ultimately choose the best fit solution. By combining the information you need with the capabilities and expertise we provide to make sense of it, TEC can help bridge the gap between you and the vendor implementer community for a successful software implementation.